Hello guys and welcome to this new quick grease pencil blender tutorial. Today we will create rakes for eyes or irises. So we will go from the simplest one to the most advanced I guess one. It depends on what you want and sometimes it's not good to over complicate rigs. So let's start first by drawing simple eyes. We have a default blender 2D animation file here. With these two layers we will name this one eyes and this one irises let's add a mirror modifier to simplify our life and let's select this circle tool and select a fill material from here we select vertex colors or color attributes as they were renamed and select this light blue color here go to our layers we select the eyes layer let's do auto lock inactive layers from here and we draw an eye so just a simple circle enter we go to the irises layer now we change the color to brown and we draw another circle we can move it with g to put it in the center of our eye middle mouse button or enter some reflections on the irises so one circle here enter and another circle here and enter now we can't uh, apply our modifier here now we have an error so we go to object mode and we apply it now we have two eyes so we go again to object data properties and we add a mask for the irises by clicking here and then we go here and we select our eyes layer as the mask let's go to edit mode to test it so we select this eye here and we move it outside and you see that it is invisible very nice i guess we finished making our eyes again to object mode we do shift a and we add a single bone so this is the first rig it uses only a single bone and no vertex groups at all let's select our object again select the irises layer go to relations and here we choose a parent and that parent will be the armature we just created in type we choose bone and we choose our bone and this single bone will control the irises so now if you select our armature in object mode we can move the irises but of course if you have an armature in object mode you will move the whole armature not just this bone that's why you will need to go to pose mode control tab select your bone and move and voila this is the simplest possible rig for irises now we do the second method so we go to edit mode we put this bone on this eye here let's name it iris.l iris left and now we can duplicate it by using symmetrize since we have that dot l in the end and now we have iris dot r here now we go to object mode and we will need to parent i forgot to remove the relation from the irises as you can see there is this bone here that means that we added the parent to this layer so we go to relations and we remove this armature from here okay so now we select our grease pencil object and then shift select our armature do control p and parent with empty groups if you select the grease pencil object again you go to vertex groups we have these two groups here note that we have have the form selected for our bones here so you select the bone properties and you have the form selects in this bone and this bone it is actually enabled by default but if it's not enabled blender won't create those vertex groups automatically so back to object mode and we select our object we go to edit mode and we will need to assign the vertices of our irises to the vertex group so that the bone can control them so here we have iris l we go again to vertex groups and we select the iris l group we have the vertices of our eyes selected we do assign then we select the other iris and we select the right iris group and we hit also assign again to object mode select the armature go to pose mode and voila it works you see now if i disable the form the bone wants to move the iris you can select both bones and move the irises like this we can have any kind of looks you want you can resize the bones individually or you can select them both and also resize them both so you actually can do a lot of things with this setup you can rotate the irises too now to the third more advanced method let's do a alt g alt r alt s to put them in their place and then go to edit mode let's do shift a to create a new bone select it g move it a little bit down z and then select the spawn g z and make it a little bit bigger let's also remove the form because this bone won't deform our grease pencil object it will just control these two bones we select this bone shift select this bone and then lastly shift select this bone so that it is the active one and then we do Control p make parent and keep offset now these two bones are parented to this one if we go again to pose mode 
and we move this bone, we can move both irises. So this method here will make our life a little bit easier when you are animating because you don't have to select two bones to do this. And you see that we have these eyes that go inside the other eyes. That's because we have the irises in the same layer and also the masks also in the same layer. So you don't want this to happen. You will have to have a separate layer for each eye and a separate layer for each iris. And now let's suppose that you want to be able to move each eye separately and also resize it or maybe rotate it or whatever. But this iris is parented to this bone and not to the bone that is controlling the eye. For that we need to parent the iris to a bone of the eye and then we use constraints on this bone. Let's go to edit mode and demonstrate this fourth and last method. Let's duplicate this bone, shift D, let's rotate it, R, Y and then 90 degrees. Let's put it here, let's rename it F2, I, dot l let's also enable the form let's parent the iris to the eye bone so select shift select Control p parent keep offset and let's symmetrize this bone to the other side by going to armature symmetrize now we parent this bone to this bone Control p very nice now we go to object mode since we have two new bones we should parent the grease pencil object to the armature again so select the object shift select the armature Control p set parent to armature deform with empty groups okay we select our object again we go to edit mode we go again to our vertex groups we select the eye left here and also we need to select the eyes layer okay we select this eye l to select everything assign and then select this eye l we select the right eye group and assign. Now we go to object mode again. We select our armature. Go to pose mode and see if it's working. So moving this bone will move the eye and also the iris. Now how to control the irises with this bone. So to do that we will use a constraint. So select this bone. Shift select this bone. And we do control shift C. And we choose this one. Copy transforms. Then we will go here to bone constraint properties. Here we can also add our constraints. But it's better to do that shortcut. Because we will have our bone added here. Without us having to add it. We change this to local space. This one too to local space. This to 0.5. Now let's do the same for the other eye. So select this bone and shift select this bone. Control shift C. Copy transforms. Again, local space, local space. See what happens if we keep the influence at 1. We will be able to move the eye and do everything. But we won't be able to move the iris. But here you can move the iris. And you also can move it using this bone. So change the influence to 0 0.5. Let's move it. Resize. Rotate. And you can do this. You can resize the eye like this and go crazy. And you can still move your eyes like this. This is amazing, isn't it? So this is it for today. Leave a like, subscribe, check my Gumroad if you want to support the channel. Also, there are some free files there and some paid ones. The paid ones are attached to free tutorials on this channel. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in another video. Peace.